So Shakur Stevenson versus Robinson Consecayo. Um, what's my thoughts on this fight? Well, I think it's an interesting fight, actually. I think it's um, a good, another good fight for uh, Shakur Stevenson in his promising young career. And to me, and once upon a time, I thought Teofimo Lopez was going to be kind of the guy to, uh, of the younger dudes anyway, to kind of take over later on. And he's not saying that Teofimo doesn't still have potential, but now I'm thinking it's more Shakur Stevenson after seeing what he did to Valdez. Um, the kid's good, man. I like Shakur. Um, like I say, lots, a lot of the American fighters I'm very critical of, I like Shakur Stevenson, and I have to give credit where it's due that Shakur Stevenson's fighting two fi top five guys back-to-back -back, at 130, Valdez and now Consacayo. Um, Consacayo does have a, have a four-inch reach advantage over Shakur Stevenson. He's taller by a couple of, what, three inches, uh, you know. Here's the thing with this fight. Consacayo, he has to come to win it, okay? He can't come in there to be the guy brought in just to lose. He, he can cause Shakur some, problem, some problems. Consacayo is... A, very aggressive. He throws a lot of volume. He's not a big puncher, but he throws a lot of volume, a lot of flurries. He's a big dude. That pressure can wear you down and get to you. He's also got a great amateur background. He's an Olympian, just like Shakur Stevenson is. Um, I thought Consacayo also beat Oscar Valdez. I mean, that fight was a little bit more competitive than Shakur versus Valdez was obviously, but, um, you know, I thought he, you know, we all know what happened with the Quince Kyle Valdez fight. Valdez was allowed to cheat, take steroids, didn't get suspended, didn't get stripped of his title and was still allowed to continue on with the fight. So, you know, but he, either way, they both beat Valdez, um, that's the com the big at least the big name common opponent that the between the two of them. I think it's going to be a competitive fight. Actually, I think that Consacayo will give a, a little bit of issues to Shakur Stevenson, not over the top. I don't think he's going to be the guy to stop him because, like I say, he's not a big puncher, but he is very aggressive. He's a big dude. He throws a lot of flurries. So I could see him disrupting Shakur Stevenson's rhythm a little bit, you know, but I mean, Shakur, he's just looked so fucking sharp as of recently. Um, you know, the, the, the defense is on point. His hand speed is on point. The accuracy, the angles, like I just have a hard time seeing anybody at 130 beating Shakur Stevenson right now. I think it's an interesting fight. I think it's definitely one of the better fights Shakur Stevenson could have taken, especially at that 130-pound division. Now, if he moves up, that's a whole other story. We'll talk about that when it actually happens. So don't come in the comments saying, well, what do you think about him versus Lama? What do you think about him versus Haney? What do you think? I don't want to hear none of that. Wait till he moves up. But as of right now, at 130 pounds, that's one of the best fights he could have taken. So credit where it's due. He's fought Valdez and Consacayo back-to-back. And he's an Olympian, man. Um, Consacayo is. They both are, for that matter. One's a silver, one's a gold. It's an interesting fight. I think it'll be competitive in moments. But ultimately, I, I, I got to roll with Shakur Stevenson, man. I, I think he's too sharp. He's too fresh. He's too young. You know, the hand speed, the the, the sharpness of him the, is just going to be a little bit too much for Consacayo to sustain. And ultimately, I have Shakur Stevenson winning this fight by unanimous decision. Neither one of them are big punchers, so I don't see anybody getting knocked out. So for that... And we all know if it's close, what's going to happen. You know, the fucking, you know, Shakur's obviously going to get the decision if it's a close fight. So, Consacayo would basically have to put his, ass out, put his ass out to sleep. So, for my official prediction, I got Shakur Stevenson by unanimous decision. It, 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 I, in a somewhat competitive fight, I think Consacayo will win a few rounds. Not, I don't think it'll be close, close to where, like, it's a, ah, I could go either way. 
But I think Shakur, because just only because of the size factor, his experience, his volume of punches. So I think Kunsakai will keep it competitive, but ultimately Shakur Stevenson will outbox him that night and win in an eight to four type of unanimous decision. But anyways, that's my official prediction, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Um, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe on your way out. And God bless you, man. Salute.